Hey, what's happening, y'all? Thank you for joining me for another episode of God Warrior Chronicles. Uh, today, got a little special treat for you. We're gonna go visit Yak Attack. It's one of my boys from the service, Ryan Baker, up in Yak Attack, Alaska. Yak Attack. He's gonna give you a little tour of his homestead up there so you can see what goes down way up north. Alaskan Yak Attack in the house. Let's get it. H Town, stand up. Yak Attack, too. Yak Attack in the house. Yak Attack. Hey, everybody. Uh, making a quick video here. Uh, my big brother Grant with his new channel, Garden Warrior Chronicles, asked me to show you guys what I got going on here up in Alaska. Uh, Grant and I used to serve together with 513 being Harrier Mechanics. Um, when I was done with that tour, I decided to come up here. My wife is originally from here. She was in the ordnance shop and kidnapped this California boy up to Southeast Alaska. Uh, again, Yakutat. Yakutat. It's right on the, the coast near nothing. Village of about 600 people. So uh, taking my time to get used to my new environment and bring some knowledge from where I grew up in uh, Central California, born in Los Angeles, grew up in the Central Valley, and uh, have brought gardening here to grow some vegetables, to go with all the fish and the moose and stuff that we live on on a regular basis, but um, a lot of trial and error, and it is the Tongass National Rainforest, and so I don't have the nice weather of Southern Cal and Central Cal for growing year round or most of the year. I've got, well, let's see, about three to four months of decent weather, a whole lot of light. Um, this morning, the sun was up at four. It won't go down until 9 p.m. tonight. So, uh, but we're at a calm 54 degrees. We've got overcast, we're right on the ocean. Um, so it does have its challenges but this is what I do to relax and unplug and grow some vegetables. If you can uh, do it yourself, it's, it's a nice hobby and uh, makes others happy. Anything that comes into our town either has to be flown in or barged in uh, from long distances. So can't run down to the landscaping store. There isn't one, finding what we can. So my landscaping rocks right here and it's a little rough because we just had the snow finish melting this weekend there might still be some right down the hill here but these are runway core samples that i'm using as landscape stones um, for some of the flower beds that are up up against the house so so a few years ago yvonne was working at the tribal environmental office and did a sustainability study on having chickens here in southeast so this was the chicken coop and again this season uh, we're flipping it all around and this is her greenhouse for flowers and whatever she wants to do with that so we got some hanging baskets uh, we just got it cleaned out and uh, there's a bunch of old cedar so cut out the nesting boxes and now we're gonna add shelves and so she can do her little stuff here Materials we found in the lot, a bunch of stones. Uh, this is rhubarb we got growing right here. My mother-in-law makes the best strawberry rhubarb crisp for dessert. Um, garlic, of course, goes with everything. And then a little goofy guy back there, that's some celery. Going down the lower lot, these used to be the stairs for the house when we originally bought it. They're treated, so I'm using them for landscaping. So this is my fun little area got a uh, fire pit for the boys to roast marshmallows if it's not too crazy out but uh, here's my raw material make some phone calls flag some people down they were clearing a uh, property for the new clinic that's going in here and I said hey where are you guys taking all this uh, material and they were just taking it to the landfill so it was free the price was right and I said hey can I have the last truckload uh, dropped in my yard so I have to 
hand sort this, but this is some definite gold level uh, soil here. So there's my grate. I keep all the rocks, so I'll use them for something else. And uh, it's been really good. So a lot of trial and error. This right here is my son's apple tree. Asked me if he could try to grow it, and it's about in its fifth year. It got beat up by heavy snow this year. Uh, I'm gonna try and nurse it back and uh, get it to grow some, but if you can get your kids interested in vegetables, fruit, growing, any of that stuff, push it. Uh, it's, it's great. They'll eat healthy, and it gets those good habits started early. There's the last bit of snow in our yard. I'm like sorry. I said before, rain is the biggest issue. I did raised beds my first summer of trying to grow, and this is where they were at. I'm gonna move them in here. So, uh, carport, store-bought carport, keeps it safe from the rain, and now I actually have stuff that will survive the season. Um, a friend of mine got me going the first, very first thing we did, and boy, did it, it work great. Tire potatoes. Um, you get little seed potatoes, you get that one little russet in the bottom of the bag that starts growing eyes. Uh, throw it in dirt and just keep stacking tires and by the time the season's done these will be four or five tires high and I will have potatoes for a good two months but again to reutilizing material all this lumber was free I just had to haul it the uh, FAA was doing a radar uh, project renovation and I saw all this lumber being stacked up and asked them, hey, if they'll leave it, I'll, I'll take care of it. So any contractor will say, hey, if I don't have to clean up, even better. So use what you have. Funny to see what stuff will sur survive a winter here. Uh, this little guy right here is a cabbage plant that was beat up and decided to grow all on its own. So I might just transplant that because uh, He's a champ and decided to keep trucking, but this is my little area here. Boy, all right, yo, it's good to see him doing good up there. Got that nice homestead up there. I mean, look, the the bi level thing, that's nice. Those stairs, I mean, yo, that that's nice. His little spot is really, really nice. Uh, so uh, I'm glad he's able to enjoy that. But you can see it's a lot of work, and they got to go through um, way different processes from what we go through. He got to deal with bears. Bears. Regularly. Moose, moose standing 12 feet tall or however tall they get like, man, that's wild. That's wild. You know, and half us be upset if a stray dog got in our yard. <laughs> but yo, Ryan, I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. Once again, I want to thank all of y'all for joining me on the Garden Warrior Chronicles. And please hit that like button. Subscribe, share, and comment. I'd rather be speaking about my vision. When the bridge is burned, you gotta make big boy decisions. Blood pressure higher than these center court seats. Gave every child support. BM gon' hate these court fees. Love the younger Taylor and Trey Trey. You always have my love and support, not just on payday. The apple of my mama's eye. She said you're king living now, so her prayer don't go in vain. I Every morning try. I wake up, I thank God and get to this paper. I spread love, but I'm in it to win it. Don't care about no hater.